We've seen plenty of unique spins on laptops from Microsoft with the Surface, Surface Pro, and Surface Book. Uh, but today, we finally have a traditional laptop from the company. It's the Surface Laptop. It's basically a very thin and light laptop that Microsoft is targeting against the MacBook Air and the uh, lower end MacBook Pros. It feels really good. It has the same metal construction that we've seen from other Surface devices, but it feels even smoother. And uh, the fact that it's a single laptop now instead of a detachable tablet type thing, it just feels a lot more cohesive and a lot more solid. It's really light and easy to pick up. And what's also cool is that Microsoft covered the keyboard in this cloth-like material that uh, just feels smooth to the touch and it's supposedly stain resistant too. Uh, the keys feel as good as what we've seen in the latest Surface Pro keyboards and the Surface Book. And the screen is fantastic. It's 13.5 inch pixel sense screen. Microsoft is claiming you'll be able to get all the benefits of a 14 inch laptop, uh, but actually around the size of a 13 inch laptop. Honestly, it just feels really good in my hands. It was really fast for browsing the web and loading some 4K videos. And uh, it just feels like a great Windows laptop. I like the touchpad. It was nice and smooth, just like what we've seen from some of the other surfaces. And honestly, it feels like the best laptop I've ever held in my hands. It's just so thin, it's so light, and it feels really good. You may not even be able to get a sense of that through photos and video, uh, but if you touch this thing, it doesn't really feel like any other laptop I've seen. It's also the flagship device for Windows 10S, which is Microsoft's new education-focused, stripped-down version of the OS. It runs apps from the Windows Store, uh, but it doesn't run other legacy apps. Uh, you can actually just go to the Windows Store and upgrade to Windows 10 Pro, which is kind of cool. It's a big step up from the Windows RT devices we saw, like the Surface RT and the Surface 2. Uh, it's a lot more flexible, but it's also a secure environment, which is good for students. Apps that run there run inside of a virtual container so kids can't destroy things. The big benefit with Windows 10S and uh, all the integrated hardware we're seeing in the Surface Laptop is battery life. Microsoft claims it'll get around 14 and a half hours of battery life, which is more than what we've seen from the MacBook Air and the MacBook as well. Ultimately, it's not a very flashy or surprising device from Microsoft, especially after something like the Surface Book and the Surface Studio, which are devices we've never seen before. This is more of a traditional laptop, but honestly also feels like a very cohesive experience. And I think that's important. It definitely feels like one of the most refined laptops I've ever held. The Surface Laptop will be available for $9.99 on June 15th. Check back at Engadget for more coverage.